So this 3D printer, it's a really nice printer. It actually prints two different kinds of plastics. Uh, one's a solid and the other is able to be um, dissolved with a basic material. And that allows you to print parts with negative cavities. This is a build platform right here. It needs to be nice and clean. Um, if you've used them before like this one, you could still use them, but if it's an important part, I'd probably use a new build platform like this. This also lets you know the largest part you can make. I think these are two by two, so this build platform is eight, uh, eight inches by eight inches. These just drop in right here. These tabs have to catch and go all the way in, and those blue tabs fold up. Uh, the actual nozzle in there is really hot, so carefully you don't touch it or the back of it. And then on here it tells you how much um, soluble material you have, 64% left, and then actual build material. I'm, and I'm actually just going to create a part. So I'm going to create a new part. Uh, the really important here is that you're really on top of your dimensions. We're drawing in inches. You don't want to 3D print a bowling ball, right? So let me create on my um, XY plane and I'm just going to create a, a circle maybe I'll make like a ring maybe I'll make a circle 0.25 enter and then I'll create another circle oh no that's not a ring 0.3 enter okay I'm all done there I'm going to finish my sketch I'm going to extrude that material out I'm only going to extrude it, say, um, 0.2 of an inch. Okay, so there's my solid. Okay, so here's my part. I go File, Export, CAD Format. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to call it STL File. So I'm going to call it Part 1 and call it an STL File. Then I go here to Options. Then under Options, this is really important, I go inches. So I'm going to change this to inches. And I could set this surface deviation um, to as small as possible or to zero. Okay. So that's still in Autodesk Inventor. And then I hit save. And then here's the Catalyst driver. So now I open up Catalyst and then I go File, Open STL. I'll go to the desktop, I'll select part one. Up here, I'm gonna to go to the orientation tab. And there it is. I could zoom in and out and I could see how small it is. That's the way I wanna print it. I don't wanna print it up on edge, but if I printed it like this, it, it would fill a whole center up, okay? Then I'm gonna to go to the pack tab and I'm gonna add it to the pack. And there's my part. It's going to be right in the center. Uh, I like the way that looks. So I'm going to hit print. And then that's it. Now it's sent over here. Here's idle part one. If I want to start building, I hit start model. And it'll start printing that part out. That's actually how easy it is to print on a 3D printer. So if you want to design something and, and 3D print it, please feel free to do so. Here's my little note sheet right here on the wall.